Hi. It's so rainy, how are you, dear? Welcome. Welcome. And welcome to you. I'm Hugh Hefner, your host. I don't know if you recognize me. We're having a little fun here. This is Sue Rainey, who you came up with. Uh, I'm not sure whether behind the foliage you're going to recognize uh, some of our other friends, but this is Buddy Rich. Hi there. And back behind the piano, James Cotton and Joe Williams. Joe, you look like Fu Manchu. Uh, that's right. It's been a while. We got Fu A lot of us spoke with Fu Manchu. That's what is, what is the, with the mustache? Uh, well, it's a new thing, fake mustaches, and I think it adds a certain uh, touch of sophistication. I think so. It looks and very good. Thank you, uh, Ralph. Uh, it doesn't really work for everybody. I think we should get Tommy to try one. Want to try yeah. a mustache, Tommy? Yeah. Well, everyone should fix him up there. There we go. Oh, there you are. That's beautiful. <laughs> That's not quite it. Why don't you try, a, try, try another one? A little on the side. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Here. 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 Have a little, yeah. little handlebar. Doesn't fit your piano now. player ought to have a handlebar. <laughs> Tickle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, that's, oh, a, oh. that's really a piano player's mustache. Yeah. Now the question yeah. is, will you play differently now that uh, now that you've got the mustache? I don't know. I'll try a waltz and see how it comes okay. out. Okay. Yeah. Huh? I need a little help from my friends here. Huh? Uh, buddy, buddy, you want to help? Joe? Joe? Fire hazard here. I think I'm afraid to light that. Does that hurt? No. Yeah, no, it's, it's smart. Oh, you having a nice time at the I'm party? I'm having a great time. Wonderful. I understand you're interested in uh, interior decoration. Yes, I, I studied uh, interior design for a couple of years, and uh, this is the epitome of everything your apartment. I just love it. And especially you. your, your uh, paintings. I've been looking at them all night, and I love them. I love the one back there because it's so different and abstract looking. Oh, that's by Franz Klein, uh, quite an important American contemporary uh, artist. And what he, uh, he works almost exclusively in black and white. And uh, their interpretations of oriental hieroglyphics. That's it's quite interesting. interesting. And that one I love too. Don't you think that's great? Yeah. Well, that's by Leroy Neiman, who's a good friend and uh, does a lot of work for the magazine and for the, for the clubs. It's, it's almost like a crayon effect. That's what I think I love about it. So well, much. he interprets the contemporary scene with uh, his impressions, and it's, uh, it's good art, but also uh, very popular. What if we could get you to sing a song? You mean right this very minute? I'd love you if you would. All right, I will. Oh, uh, before I start, mm -hmm. with all this uh, equipment that you have around here, I would love to have a mic, if you have one. Easy, it... easy, sure. Hey, mm. just what I ordered. No, simpler said than done. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Just a little girl looking for a little boy, looking for someone to love. Tell me, please, where can he be? Just the guy that's right for me. Oh, the one I'm dreaming of. It would be goodbye, I know, to my day of woe when he says hello. So I am just a little girl looking for a little boy, looking for someone to love. Oh, I am just a little girl who's looking The guy that's right for me Oh, the one I'm dreaming of It would be goodbye, I know, to my tale of woe When he says hello I am just a little girl who's looking for a little boy Who's looking for someone to love Now if I were the only girl in this world And you were the only
just meant for two With nothing to harm our joy I would say wonderful things to you There would be wonderful things to do I am just a little girl Who's looking for a little boy To love Enjoyed every moment of that magnificent moment. Ray, that's a wild, uh, <laughs> Listen, narrow you got there, wild suit. Thanks. I, I like your parties, but how come I always get a drink and I never have a girl? <laughs> well, we'll work that out. Uh, you like the suit? Really? I do, yes. I'll pose for you. <laughs> well, not that much. <laughs> I got this. I bought... Now, all you need, actually, you know, you got to have the beads and the... Where's thing around pick? the neck. Yeah, let me play with the hair. There you go. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I got this. Where's bought... the dog? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I bought the suit from a Bermuda chauffeur. And this, uh, what's that? Yes, indeed. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes. Very good. And can also, in case I get lucky with a girl. Here, here. Wait a minute. <laughs> right, I just look at this. We're going back. <laughs> you're now 16. You're now 15. Now you're now 12. What happened that afternoon in the park? <laughs> Let me tell you, I'm, I wore this because I was coming to this party, and your parties, your son of a gun, are all Did you get those types, right? You know? There are guys like that. I want to do a thing. Let me put this back on. If I can make it. There are guys that do things like this. I right, picture two guys, two bachelors who share an apartment. Now, the only thing is they're in complete opposite character to each other. One is always the six-foot, handsome swinger. <laughs> you know, the guy, he's out, he's out every night with a different girl, conquests all over town. Sort of a four-dab man. <laughs> now, the other guy's a little shy and somewhat sensitive, you know. All he does is go to these foreign movies and come to his own conclusions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a big expression for this shy little guy is to hear his friend's stories. You know. Loves to hear about what happened. It's that reflected glory thing. Oh, right? well, here it is, three in the morning. Tall, handsome Joey walks in. The little guy puts down his Playboy magazine. <laughs> in Latin. <laughs> and he gazes upon his hero. <clears throat> How you doing, Joey? Hey, I waited up for you. That's all right. I slept yesterday afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> I can't sleep so good lately. I get funny dreams. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, hey, Joey, uh, I hope you don't mind me saying, but uh, you look kind of pooped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Yeah, huh? So good. <laughs> the phantom struck again. Hey, uh, you want to tell me about it? You know, if you want to tell me about it, I'll listen. If not, I'll go to bed. I can't sleep anyway. <laughs> want to tell me? Where'd you go? A bar? Huh? Must have been a lot of girls there, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know, there were four girls at that bar, right? Three girls at that bar. There were two girls at that bar? <laughs> There was no bar at that bar. Was that? <laughs> a, a girl came in with, with, with another girl, with a date, with a brother, with a mother, <laughs> with a poodle, <laughs> all by herself. <laughs> so, re re real tall the way you like, right? <laughs> Short the way you like, right? Medium the way you like, right? She was a midget. You'll take that too, Joey. What? <laughs> she was a medium midget. Why? <laughs> Long red hair down to the shoulders, right? Long dark hair down to the shoulders. Long no hair down to no shoulders. Low, 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 low cut in the front, right? Low cut in the back? Low cut the front, then the back? What held it up? Never mind. Now narrow waist and wide hips, right? Wide waist and narrow hips? About even? What did she have? No. She sat next to you. All those empty you. So what, 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 what happened then? Yeah, keep going, right? She bought you a drink. She bought you a drink. Wow. Must be a foreign chick. <laughs> What happened? What, you started to psychoanalyze her. 
The old stamp. <laughs> uh, it didn't work? What'd you do then? You start talking dirty. That worked. Huh? She said, well, let's go to my place. Oh, you son of a gun. You followed her, her own car convertible with the hair blowing in the wind. You dirty. <laughs> and then a nice apartment with a high ceiling? Low ceiling. No ceiling. What did she have? A tent. What did she have? <laughs> a medium ceiling. Wow. <laughs> what, what records? Les Baxter, the jungle bits. <laughs> she said, well, she was going to change to something comfortable. Yeah. She finally came out. That's all she wore? Oh, my God. She, she stood in front of the light, right? <laughs> you stood in front of the light. <laughs> Joey, sometimes I wonder about you. Well, what happened? She starts to dance like a nut, right? Lousy dance, but it looked great, right? With the long legs, right? Short legs. No, never mind the legs. What, what, what happened? Well, she threw herself at your feet, that kind of a dance. Oh, and she said, what? She said that? Where'd she learn that? <laughs> you mean she came right out with it just like that? Wow. I mean, what, what she just holler it out or just say it plain? What, right? She said it loud but not clear, right? Clear but not loud. She said it loud and clear, yes. <laughs> what did you say? Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep going, Joey. Keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Faster, Joey. Faster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, faster. Yeah, keep going. Wow. <coughs> Joey, thanks for a beautiful evening. <laughs> Forget him, they say, forget him, although I still see his face, and I hear his laughter after, might as well. Forget the summer sun, the sound of falling rain, and the lights on a Christmas tree. They don't say where memories go, and no one will ever know. No one.
what is this feeling? Why is it born if only to die? And when it leaves you, what stays inside? To some champagne. Could I have some? I love champagne. Thank you. You earned that. James? Nice show. Huh? Barbara? It's kind of funny, uh, champagne for a a blues singer. Do you think, Jim, that uh, you have to really be uh, blue and low down to understand the blues? No, I don't think you really have to be blue and low down to understand the blues. I think you just have to feel it. Where uh, where do the authentic blues really come from? Where do the blues come from? I think everybody has the blues. <laughs> kind of a state of mind yeah. that we all find ourselves in, some yeah. people a little more than others. Yeah, I think that we all have it. Yeah. Could you give us a little... Uh, Maybe a little taste of your own kind of blues? Why, sure I can. Very glad to do it. One, two, three. No, no. 
card they give you? So, well, buddy, this is the, the first time I've had to congratulate you on uh, being a big three-time uh, winner this year. Well, I want to thank you. Playboy's poll. I want to thank all the readers. I didn't get an opportunity to um, write. We've been so busy. But I do certainly appreciate the fact that uh, Bam came out so beautifully in the poll. Well, not only does he have the top LP and uh, all-star drummer and all-star band. Whoopee! <laughs> kind of hard to top. How are you going to top it? I'll probably lose all three this year. <laughs> but you're, you, you really are kind of an incredible guy. We go back, uh, I guess, uh, 10, 12 years, but you've been in the business, uh, what, 40 years? 10, 12 years. Oh, 10, 12 years. <laughs> you just count the last... Just, you know, just long enough to grow a beard. Yeah. Well, from Tommy Dorsey uh, on, you've been through every... C.P. Dorsey? Uh, every... Yes. Jimmy, <laughs> Sam, <laughs> Sam, whatever, whatever's <laughs> fair. <laughs> right. Any difference? What, what's it like... Uh, Leading your own band now and uh, compared to I the give the orders. Days. You like that better? No, but it sounds important. I see. You know, and uh, <laughs> more headaches. I had no, really, isn't it? It isn't a headache at all. <laughs> I think it's the mustache. It's the beard. I get, I get the hair caught in my teeth. Huh? Well, it, it's kind of strange for me, you know. Um, I tell you, I really like on you. You know, we were fooling around with those mustaches, but I think you should keep yours. Well, this is real. That, oh, you grew it? Yes, this is the beginning started? of the show. That's very <laughs> good. This is a real one. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what else do you want to talk about? <laughs> well, <laughs> about 40 years of what? Well, I just wondered what it was like, um, you know, how the bands have changed. Oh, they haven't changed too much. I think music is better you in really? 1968 than it was in 1940 or 50. It's getting better, I think. Uh, I think um, a lot of young players today are much better than they were when the kids were young. And Do you think they have as much chance uh, now with, obviously, jazz is not enjoying as much popularity as it once did? Do you think uh, the young kids, the real musicians who might... Uh, you know, be the great performers uh, in a few years have as much chance to train now as they did before? No. <laughs> <laughs> what I like about you, and as I've said to my friends, you're so verbal. Right. You really get right to it. Well, um... <laughs> what, was the, what was the question? I have a different, I have a different question Good. for you. What do you want to <laughs> know? A completely different, different oh, subject wonderful. entirely. What? Nothing to do with music. Hooray. I understand you've gotten very interested in um, karate. Yes, I'm interested in it. And as a matter of fact, you're not only interested in it, but you've got a brown belt. Which yes. doesn't match your outfit. Not at all. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll run home and change. I'll put the belt on and come back without a suit. What got you interested? <laughs> okay. 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 That's Everybody in the pool. Right. Every oh, yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. What got you interested? I mean, it's kind of a strange hobby for a guy uh, in your position. That's a coward, right? <laughs> well, that may explain it. That, definitely. I think it's great. It's uh, great physical training for mm. you, you know. And I used to play drums a lot. I and, uh, heard that. <laughs> <laughs> I would think, as a matter of fact, as a drummer, you might be kind of worried about the hands. No, I'm never worried about the hands. Well, what about with karate? Don't you worry about maybe... Uh, I'm worried about that? somebody being better than I am. I That's see. That's really the <laughs> But don't you... Do you do no, I don't, do, I don't do the board bits. And, Just people. And the bricks. Just, and I, don't, I've not, I haven't been on a beef in... Um, how long have I been here? <laughs> yeah, since you came out of the elevator, right? right? That's right. <clears throat> well, enough of um, <laughs> the fascinating My physical exploits, talk. right? How about a little, um, a little drumming? No, I don't, do that. I don't want to do that either. Oh. Uh, all right, okay. I'll play. This, is, uh, this is from our new album, you know. Oh. This uh, thing called Mercy Mercy. Well, I can it. tell you're all choked up about <laughs> that, too. Right. Excuse me, my love. My what? My Christmas card, will you mind me posing for it? Wrong. Wrong. That's, that's Arabic traveling. I hope so. You know, you made out, you made out last summer with us, don't you? Whoa. For me? Christmas. All right, who starts me? Yes. Good.
family fortune in three weeks. <laughs> Every time a bill came in, he paid the zip code. <laughs> <laughs> hey, That's the yeah. How are you, fam? Good. Nice to see you. Barbara? Barbara? Good to see you. Having a good time here, Hugh? Well, I hope so. Hope so. Just gave a girl uh, mouth to mouth resuscitation. <laughs> she wasn't yeah. even in the water, huh? That's right. She didn't want it, but uh, <laughs> why wait till the last minute? <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy it here in uh, Chicago, especially, you know, because I'm taking kind of a, a little breather from California. Mm -hmm. I live out there now, and I'm not, uh, I'm not really used to it. You know, the people out there are so casual. You know, they're so easygoing. <laughs> I knew that when I saw my parish priest on Dating Game. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll tell you something to behold is uh, spending Christmas in California. We almost didn't have a tree because of the steel strike. <laughs> and <laughs> but I want to tell you. <laughs> now I looked outside on Christmas Eve, and there were topless Christmas carolers. <laughs> I knew I was in California. Now, uh, my neighbors out there, you know how they spend Christmas Eve? Is they gather around the TV set and and watch a Fresca commercial. <laughs> Their idea of a white Christmas in California is to take an albino to dinner. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one of the things that's uh, uh, really murder out there is trying to find a house. I, uh, everybody, they don't live on uh, Main Street or Elm Street. You, you live on Gregory Peck Street or <laughs> William Holden Street. And I live on Arlene Dahl's Hairdressers Street. <laughs> in fact, there are eight hairdressers on my street. and. Uh, Every tree on the street is teased. <laughs> As a matter of fact, when uh, the cops call for, for a, uh, they see somebody robbing a house or something on my street, they say, halt, who prances there? <laughs> <laughs> so another thing out there that, uh, that I had fun on, just uh, I took a quick trip to a, uh, a retirement center called Wrinkle City. <laughs> and. Uh, they, uh, it was uh, Halloween when I got there. Of course, uh, any time they all smile together, it's declared Halloween out there. <laughs> <laughs> and they were about to play their favorite game, which was uh, bobbing for oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they had their rules and regulations at Wrinkle City. In fact, if you're late for dinner there at Wrinkle City, uh, the penalty is they make you run up a step. <laughs> And they have some great games out at Wrinkle City. These old people really have fun. You know, a lot of people think they're sitting out there rocking, but they have a lot of fun. Uh, 
the morning one of their activities, they all go over and watch a guy brush his tooth. <laughs> <laughs> and they have a new kind of pinball uh, out there. Uh, they put you up against a fluoroscope and you drop a black olive and then they shake it till, till the... <laughs> it's kind of a weird... <laughs> but... Uh, they're so old out there, you... I'm gonna, I'm gonna end with one thing that I was really amazed. It's, they're so old, some of these people out there, that it's a good deed for a Boy Scout to help an old lady cross her legs. I get a but hands across the sea all the way to Copenhagen. Tommy, Joe Williams, and I go back, uh, oh, gotta be half a dozen years or more. That's right. About as long as I've known Buddy. That's right. Oh. Starting with another. You living in, uh, still living in Las Vegas? Yes, I am living in this wonderful, wonderful place there. Uh, I live on the new international country club uh, uh, golf course. Practically in the golf yes. course, though. That's why I hear. It is on the golf course. <laughs> right on the green? Yeah. Well, uh, our place or live, is about 30 yards, just about 30 yards from the 13th green. Oh, about 60 or 70 yards from the 14th tee. You got any picture windows? Uh, like nobody has a golf ball in his head. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a long hole. If you know anything about golf, it's a long hole, so that uh, most of the approach shots to the 13th green are usually third shots. You must come and play. I'd be our guest sometime out there. Well, we just opened a, a, a really wild course up in a resort that we've got up in Geneva, you know. You've got to come up and play ours. I'll it's, be your guest. I, it's got, I, did, I, I did that pretty <laughs> Boy, good. Boy, you really played right there. I worked that pretty good. Okay, Kyle, well, you, really, you really don't live on a yeah. golf course now, right? I'll be your guest, right? <laughs> Where? Geneva, right? Gen Lake Geneva. Lake Geneva, right. Wisconsin. And we got such a course, uh, we make up in lost balls uh, what it costs to play the thing. It's really... <laughs> Got pits and. <laughs> Would you believe we're going to have an even trade because we have 84 traps on our course, including your house, so. including mine. <laughs> <laughs> That's the tender trap, though. You have to be careful of that one, though. Really. Joe, I understand you had kind of a, a crazy experience uh, not too long ago. I know you've been interested in helping newcomers uh, for a oh, number of years, God. and uh, somebody came up to you and gave you a kind of a wild story. It was a wild story, Hef. Uh, a young lady. Uh, approached me in the Hong Kong bar of the Century Plaza Hotel. I like and, the setting already. That's yeah. <laughs> very... And uh, she said to me, uh, Ooh, I've got to sing. And Carl Basie sent me to you. I was with him just last night. And I said, Oh, you were? <laughs> you know, and it happened at that time, Basie was in Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. And I was in Los Angeles. So I said, OK. I said, I have a friend. I'd like for him to hear you sing. In the meanwhile, I must go upstairs. I have guests. So I went up to my rooms, and she asked if she could come along. She came along, met my wife, and she sat down. <laughs> so while she's sitting there talking to the warden, I went to change clothes. Right? And she opened up with the warden like this. She said, hello, uh, are you English? My wife says, yes, I am. Are you? Which is a normal thing to say to someone, you know. And she says, no, I'm part French, though, in fact. My mother is Louise Reiner. Oh, you know, named a famous mother. And uh, then the next line uh, went like this. She pulled a letter from the Republic of France, and she says, I'm also the illegitimate daughter of <laughs> President de Gaulle and <laughs> Louise Reiner. <laughs> So, by that time, my wife says, oh, yes, indeed, and what would you like to drink? <laughs> and it went on from there. But uh, she, she finally went over to this young man's place and did sing for him, I understand. And? Well, he said that she uh, wants to be Carmen McRae, Ella Fitzgerald, and Sarah Vaughan all at the same time. <laughs> and it's a little late. <laughs> <laughs> for her in any of those areas. Besides, we got three of those already. That's right. We've mm -hmm. also got a Joe Williams, and he's here tonight. Oh, and yeah. I think that's maybe a good uh, cue for you to 
sing a number for us, if you will. Oh, wonderful. With the help of Bobby? Let's do that. Yes, Tommy. Uh, Tommy. <laughs> Tommy! Tommy! <laughs> oh, that's all right, Joe. Now you're all beginning to look like us. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't touch me. Sorry. Sorry about that. No, no, it's, Tommy, I wish you would go over there because uh, this particular song was written by a very talented uh, young man, two fellows. One is named uh, Alan Sherman. Our one better. Uh, Alan Sherman? Bobby. And, uh, no. <laughs> yes, our Alan Sherman. Straight number, is it? Uh, a very straight number, a beautiful number from a forthcoming Broadway production that they're working on. They started by calling it Birth is the Card's Way Out. <laughs> or, or Stop the Birth, I Want to Get Off, in which they finally decided to call The Fig Leaves Are Falling. <laughs> but it's a great song. The song is called Did I Ever Really Live? Did I ever really do it? You're born, you weep. You smile, you sleep. You cling, you crawl. You stand, you fall. You stand again and try. Then you walk. You eat, you drink, you feel, you think, you play, you grow, you learn, you know, then one day you find a way to talk. Your days begin to slip away Too fast Too fast Too soon You hear a distant drum Too soon the time to go will come And time won't wait is it too late to ask? Did I ever love? Did I ever hear? Did I ever Your gold be the death of your soul. I hope not. 
man, young man, young man, young man. we're all out of time so uh, until next week we hope you've had a very good time we'll be here again and we hope you can join us then until then good night transportation arrangements provided by Sabina Airlines Europe begins in Brussels and Sabina flights there every day